All right. <laughs> we got it. This is the biggest item I've ever purchased for my coffee. <laughs> Let's rock. Let me just tell you, if you ever decide to buy one of these things, they are heavy. You should have seen me trying to get this out of the car by myself and flipping it down the sidewalk to get it into my apartment. It was kind of hilarious. I think it weighs like 250 pounds or something like that. So you've been warned. What's going on everyone? Decided to walk you through the current setup and, and what we're doing and just make a little workflow video for 2024. First thing is got a new coffee bar, which I've really been loving. Freed up some counter space for baking and other things. And I'd seen a couple people on YouTube like getting coffee bars like this and did a lot of research for a while and eventually landed on this one. It was around $300. It's a little bit smaller, which works better with, with our space. And I don't have as much to put on here at this point. Could also always, you know, take off the ratio six or something. So been loving this so far. And now we'll just hop into a Cortado workflow. Am I in this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and let's show the people. This is still the uh, the One Z Presso. Can you see that? The One Z Presso JX Pro. This thing's been a tank. Really enjoyed it. Normcore spring-loaded tamp here with the ripple bottom. It's a 58.5 millimeter. Really been enjoying uh, the self-leveling as well. Been super helpful. Do two like that. Let's see. Redialed. When I'm steaming my milk, I typically heat up to around 280 degrees. I'll purge right here. And then we'll go ahead and start steaming right around 300 degrees. So it continues to heat up. Now we're just swirling until it gets too hot to the touch. 